Time to try to stock up on some bait. Here at my local creek, I'm going to use some night crawlers and see if I can catch some bluegill or other sunfish that are in this creek. Night crawler. When I use night crawlers for sunfish, I just cut off really small, tiny pieces of them and put them on a small hook. This is a trout magnet jig head. And I thread it on there like a little jig. Now let's see if I can catch something. go a little bit small but I use them most of the time I could actually reuse the bait whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> time to get a good picture the GoPro bait Slippery bugger. Got my little homemade filter. It's a PVC pipe. There's a bunch of holes underneath this filter. And then the air hose goes into a hole on the outside of the filter. And you have to have it so it's aimed up or sideways and it pulls the water through the filter. And still aerates the water. People make these to keep fry alive in aquariums. Try to catch a couple more. I have the camera low because I'm trying to avoid the wind. It's a really windy day. And I'm using the GoPro because I've got footage on all my other cameras that I haven't edited yet. So I gotta use what I gotta use. There's a rock across the way. And at this spot, it seems all the sunfish are right at that rock. So I have to really hit it really good. And my bobber isn't the greatest. I found this on the side of the river a while back. They say waste not. That's a usable bobber. That was a bass. You never know what you're catching a creek. One of the fun parts of creek fishing, getting hung up. I'm going to get myself unhung here and then I'm going to move to a different spot. Sometimes you have to go to familiar ground to catch fish. Sometimes you have to go to familiar ground to catch fish. This is my favorite culvert. And it's dammed up by beavers. That one's a little bit too small. I have goldfish in my tote, so I'm not going to mix goldfish and bluegill.
little bitty guys. Really too small to use as bait. These guys are so small. Oh. Tiny, tiny bluegill. Trying to talk when it's not blowing. I don't know where all the bigger fish are here, but there's tons of these little guys. I guess they're up the creek or got flooded down the creek. Endless supply of micro bait. And my bobber keeps coming off. bigger I think I'll keep them at least he's bigger than the hooks I use uh oh this guy swallowed the bait he's just big enough too. I'm going to keep them. I'm going to have to get another trout magnet since he swallowed it. All right, this is my last trout magnet hook. There's a possibility that fish will spit out that one into the bucket. I saw a picture on Facebook once where they showed their bait tank and at the bottom of the bait tank was a bunch of hooks because all the bluegill that had swallowed the hooks had spit them out. So over time, if I had released it, it would have spit the hook out eventually. All ones. This guy's just a little bit too small. So many of these guys. Hope they grow fast this year. There we go. Bait size. That's the size I'm looking for. Although I'd like to have much, much bigger, but this is a good size. Really pretty looking fish too. Guys are a dime a dozen. Another little one. Another good one in the wind. Now that's bait size right there. All these big ones seem to be hanging out right at that tree where there's a vine going in the water. Well, this one's big enough. Well, you guys are wild. I'm going to try to catch one more and then I'm going to take them fishing, either tonight or tomorrow. I might keep this one, it's kind of small. Sometimes the flatheads like smaller baits, so maybe these guys will work. Yeah! we 
go. Eh, this guy might work. I'm gonna make this my last catch. Hopefully one of these baits will get me a big flathead. Be sure to subscribe to my channel because if I catch a big flathead on these guys, it's gonna be the next video or the next video. If you like this video where I'm catching these little bitty guys, leave me a thumbs up and leave a comment below of what other fish I should chase. Maybe I'll go to my creek chub spot next. Right, as always, thank you for watching my video and wish me luck.